All right, we're rolling. Fantastic. We're rolling, and I am not taking any chances at all. Signing books can be hazardous, of course. <laughs> I can't see anything. Hello, it's another edition of Crap. Uh, more specifically, it's a uh, it's a craptacular. It's a safety third cornucopia of crap. This has to be very exciting for you, Tara. Oh yeah. Um, Tara is relatively new to the MicroWorks uh, world headquarters and uh, and what goes on around here. But you've been opening boxes all day, and people have been sending me things, haven't they? Yes, lots and lots of things. Why do you suppose people do that, Tara? Because everybody loves you. Now, see, that's very sweet of you to say, but I don't think that's really the case. I think what happens is. In this case, anyhow, um, in my new book, Profoundly Disconnected, A True Confession for Micro, which I only have 5,000 limited copies and I'm signing for money for the foundation, I have a, a, a small chapter, plenty of chapters back here in the appendix, and it's called Safety Third. Many of you uh, familiar with Dirty Jobs will be familiar with Safety Third. I did a special a few years ago called Safety Third, where I took the somewhat controversial position that saying safety first was in fact having a counterintuitive effect on myself and the members of my crew by fostering a misplaced and dangerous sense of complacency brought about by a series of mandatory and uh, compulsory safety briefings and protocols and whatnot. The point, of course, was to make sure everybody stayed safe, but I argue that by saying safety third, you would get people's attention, thereby triggering the kind of conversation slash monologue I'm having right now. Tara, are you with me on this? Oh, I'm with you. Okay, so whenever you talk about safety, it's going to be controversial. Safety third, one small part of profoundly disconnected crew composition from Mike Rove, and for 20 bucks or autograph for 100, <clears throat> has raised some eyebrows, and uh, the book got around, and some safety professionals have been sending me some complimentary safety gear. Um, some of it is, uh, um, well, it's all complimentary. Some is... Um, not complimentary, what's the word, Tara? Um, encouraging, I suppose. Whereas whereas other people seem to be sending it to me as kind of a cautionary tale, saying, hey, dummy, stop saying safety third, it's dangerous. Well, of course, saying safety third is not dangerous. You can read all about that in the book, Profoundly Disconnected It. True confession from Mike Rowe. <laughs> I've been signing these all day. You'll forgive me, I'm a little loopy. And I've just unpacked a series of boxes and pulled some stuff out, and that's going to be available to the highest bidder right now. If you're new to all this, of course, on every episode of Crap, we sell crap to raise money for the MicroWorks Foundation, scholarships for trade school recipients, et cetera, et cetera. I've taken these, everything, and I've signed it Safety Third. I'm making my own line of Safety Third stuff, Tara. Is that not genius? Oh, it's genius, brilliant. Thank you, we'll start with the gloves. Notice how these have been perfectly designed to allow a certain amount of nimbleness and dexterity through the fingers that you most often use. Is sent to me by some company called Ironclad. Full disclosure, I got no deal with Ironclad. I don't know who they are. They just sent me stuff. That's cool. So now you can have them. They're autographed. Uh, and actually, this this welder's helmet is is huge. And I'm going to take it off now. It's very very hot. I love this thing. From the inside of it, you can uh, you can adjust it right for the different uh, levels of brightness and whatnot, depending on whether you're in or out, or depending on any number of things. Anyhow, plus it's cool. It's a face of a reptile or something on it. These glasses are fantastic. Safety glasses, but they're very, very comfortable. They're padded like that. Those have been autographed as well. Well, sort of. I only had room for my name, Tara. This vest I love because it's uh, adjustable and it's actually labeled as jumbo. I mean, you can, I'm not even kidding. It's a jumbo vest. Look at that. Because big men make big dirt. Anyhow, that's been uh, that's been signed safety third by yours truly as well. Somewhat subversive, of course. You've got your basic Tyvek suit uh, signed up there too. I'm gonna throw all that in there. By the way, the high bid. You have a free hand. Yes. The high bidder gets all of this. It's all gonna be jammed back into the box from which it came. Uh, plagiarized, vandalized. Whatever you want to say to make it my own personal line. Yeah, I'm sweating like a horned church here. Ah, hot the tie back. Get that. This jacket is really what's bringing on the heat. This thing is fantastic. I've also signed it to Safety Third down here. It's a uh, spike Dupont. They treat it with Teflon. The grease resistant, water resistant, resistant virtually everything that's going to go in here as well. <sighs> Same guys that sent me this thing. Send me these things for welding, right? 
protect your arms, safety third. Protect your arms from uh, those sparks that fly around, burn through your crappy shirt, and then get you jumping all over the place. There you go. It's coming your way. Another vest. Sign him over here, safety third. Okay. <laughs> Are you seeing a trend, Tara? Oh yes. Man. And finally, there's this T-shirt, which I which I like. Huh? For warmer weather. What did I write? Can you see me now? Fairly clever. I'm sweating through it a little bit too, so that makes it super personal. I'm gonna throw in this hat as well. It doesn't have a safety theme, but it's the last one. It's the last red dirt shirt cap we have that says "Dirty Jobs." I'll sign that too. Oh, and I also got a box full of lube which is a sentence I didn't imagine I'd be saying today, but it happened. <laughs> People send me lubricant, Tara. I mean, all kinds of different lubricant. Ultra lube, Forex lube, I don't know what this is. Tubes of lube, containers of lube. I pulled out these. I thought we'd throw these in too. Again, not from a safety perspective, just because I have them. It would be nice to get rid of some of it. Ultra lube for your bar and chainsaw. Uh, air tool lube. Lube for your tool. For your tool. I think they say uh, lubricant and penetrant on there, so get the best of both. You really are. Are. Yeah, yeah, on the small one. Yeah. <laughs> You're a very <laughs> observant assistant. Tar gets a promotion. And we also have fifth wheel trailer grease. This is lube for the fifth wheel because you know, whenever you're out and you're the fifth wheel, you're going to need the lube. Anyhow, all of this, all of it, <laughs> is this week's. It's a craptacular, it's a cornucopia of craft, it's an homage to Safety Third, and of course, you know what, I'm going to throw in a copy of my book, Profoundly Disconnected True Confession from Mike Rowe. Um, that'll be signed as well, right there in the front. Don't forget to read uh, the chapter on uh, Safety Third in the appendix. It's very short. You know, this is technically only a one-page book. Uh, you've probably read about it, or maybe you've heard about it, I don't know. I, I just wanted to write one page, but then my mother wrote the foreword, and then there was an afterword, and then an intro, and then a preface, and now I've got this appendix, so it's, anyway, it's full of stuff. <sighs> Miss anything, Tara? Nope. Fantastic. Safety third, but be careful out there. I'll be the same.